Okay, so this is problem number three from chapter seven. We have um, the 125 volt source here, um, five ohms here, five, 20 ohms here. Um, there's an open switch that will close at time zero. There's a 10 ohm resistor here, 15 ohms here, 15 millihenry inductor, and we want to get information about the current here um, after the switch closes. So we want to find I naught right after the switch closes and I naught after it's been closed for a long time. And then we want to find um, uh, the, um, the general equation for I naught. And we want to find the time when I naught is 3 amps, equal to 3 amps. So to solve this problem, you have to look at the, see what, what's happening here is, let's take a look at the circuit before the switching happens. It really looks like this. We have a bunch of resistors in series which we can combine. We have 20, um, 15, oh I can't do math in my head. 15 and 15 is 30 and 50. So they're all in series. We can go like that. And we have an inductor that's behaving like a short. And we have some initial current that's flowing through there. And that initial current is easy enough to find. And it's important to find because immediately after the switching happens, um, you lose that source, right? It's gonna, this wire will short out the current inductor. So we need to know what that is in order to subtract it out. Because uh, the instant that this closes, it gets shorted out and we lose that. So that's why we need to find that, that current. So that's what it looks like before, before the switching happens. After the switching happens, we have a circuit that looks like this. Okay, um, this is going to be closed. The switch is now closed. We have this I naught going through here. And these two are essentially in series once the switch closes. So we can combine that. So we have I naught doing that, right? And so that's what you want to do. You just want to take a look at both the condition before the switching uh, and the condition after the switching. Okay. So now we know what to do. We have a strategy. We know that we're going to need to find this current and then subtract the inductor current. This current that's going to go on for a long time and then the I naught and then we're going to subtract the current that we lose, the inductor current that we lose initially after the switching. So let's find the inductor current. So that's just a straightforward good old Ohm's law, 125 over 50. <coughs> Last time I checked, that gave me 2.5. That's the initial current that's going through the inductor. And I naught, I naught is going to be this long term, right? So it's going to be one to I naught is going to be the low, um, this current right here, which is 125 over. 25, and we have to subtract the in inductor current. And that should give you 2.5 amps. So right after the switching happens, we have 2.5 amps. But as this goes on to infinity, we have an ideal voltage source that holds this voltage no matter what. This will get, um, the current will go back to its um, DC, DC steady state current. So, and that's just going to be 125 over 25, and that is 5 amps. Um, so the general equation, for the general equation, you will use, from chapter 7, the general equation for equation 7.7. .7. So this is from your text equation. 7.7, and that says that I of T 
is going to be initial current e to the negative r over L T amps. Okay, so initial current is 2.5 e to the negative, which r is it? It's the r after you close the switch because we're finding the general equation. So that's going to be um, this plus this because they're in series, 25 over 50 millihenries. And you put that in, um, you simplify that, and uh, this, is, this is the inductor current that we need to subtract. So then this is the inductor current, and that's going to be 2.5 e to the negative 500 t. Therefore, this current then is going to be this DC steady state, the long term, the 5 milliamps, 5 amps, minus. 2.5 e to the negative 500 t x. Okay, and that is part B. Okay, for part C, For part C, we want to know when this current I0 is 3. So we simply set the equation to 3. We want to find the time. So we have 5 minus 2.5 e to the negative 500 t. When is that equal to 3 amps? So bring that over, and that gives me e to the negative 500 t is equal to negative 2 over negative 2.5. Uh, which is 0 0.8. Take the natural log of both sides. So we have negative 500 t is equal to natural log of 0 0.8. Therefore, t is equal to, when you do that calculation, you will get t is equal to 440. 6 microseconds. And that's the answer to part C.